Our Graham Arizona Response Systems Gun Plumber. Today we are going to mount a gas block on a barrel where the barrel journal is undersize. Previously, we would had struggle getting the gas block on, which was good, it was nice and tight. On this one, unfortunately, it is too loose and we won't be able to get a good gas seal here. So what we're going to have to do is build up the journal. You can do that if it's a couple thousandths undersized. Any more than that and you just have to get a different barrel gas block combination. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk over to the lathe and knurl the journal. So we have the barrel mounted in the lathe with a knurling tool on, low RPM, right hand feed, and it doesn't hurt to add some lubricant. And what this is doing is displacing the metal and what that will do is it will slightly increase the diameter of it. But my experience has been that it's usually not enough. Here we go. So you can see the surface is now rough. Okay, so now I'm going to go sandblast that to get it clean. And we'll see you with the welding room. I have sandblasted the area. I'm going to apply flux. My hands are clean. I want to keep it away from the gas port. Now my choice on flux is Harris brand stay silv and my choice for hard solder is Harris brand safety sill 45 it's safety sill because they got the cadmium out of it heavy metal poisoning and whatnot now I'll also show you this for times when you have to re-drill the groove for the gas block retaining pin and the handguard uh, screw slot. In this case, they may line up, I don't know yet, but I want to flux those as well out of the gas port. I don't want any solder dripping into the board. I'm using a number zero tip probably could use a number one for this, but I'm too lazy to change it. And I have it in a V block so that it's easy to spin. And just keep it moving. We're gonna heat this until it's a dull red, which this is hard solder. This is not your copper pipe plumber's solder. So, now I'm going to test and see if we're getting enough heat. I don't think so. There we go. And then walk that solder around. Come back to it, keep it moving. It's actually looking a little hotter than I want it to be. I want a dull red, not cherry red. Yeah, it looks like that got too hot. I'm really not happy with that. I uh, got it too hot and the solder doesn't stick when it's too hot. I blasted it and reapplied the flux and now I'm going to continue. Keeping it moving, we want the dull red. When it gets that cherry red, the flux just burns off and makes a really ugly, messy. I do want my torch a little hotter. But now we have enough solder on it that when it's happy, we'll see the solder flowing. Yeah, you see the solder starting to flow into the grooves. Moving, moving. The solder will go towards the heat. All right, that looks pretty good. One more turn to level everything out. 
and let it cool. Don't dunk it in water to cool it off. So far in doing this, it hasn't caused any um, problems with the barrel warping or anything, but if you do a rapid change of temperature, I imagine it might. So I'm just gonna let it cool for about 15 minutes. Now that I have soldered the journal, I bead blasted it so you can better see what's going on. Normally I wouldn't bead blast it until I'm done. What I wanna do is just take some of the high spots off. I'm not gonna go all the way down to the steel. Turn this a little bit more so I don't hit that shoulder. All right, I'm starting to like this. I still, you can see right here, I'm starting to be able to see the crisscross lines underneath. Um, you might ask, well, why aren't I measuring it? So, well, we're actually gonna push some of that solder off. When we hammer the gas block on, it will shave any solder off. pretty happy with that. Let's see. Now the gas block won't slide on. So that's that's good. I'm going to put a little bit of oil on it. I used or tap magic cutting fluid because it has anti-galling properties and it's very thin. It just seems to work better for me than oil. Put our gas block on, get kind of lined up with the gas port, and then my aircraft riveting tool with the black iron extension and the brass head. You can use the pipe and a hammer. I just recommend having copper or brass. Vice is locked down, and here we go. pretty tight. Hopefully it's not too tight. Now for gross alignment, since we're mounting it to a barrel that already has the slots drilled in it, although I've partially filled them, I'm going to feel for the gas port with a small hex key. And I can feel that the gas port is centered. I can feel the edge of the gas port on each side and it's about equally spaced. So I know I'm an approximately in alignment. So I'm gonna to go to the mill now to check alignment. This one went on pretty tightly, so I know the plastic side isn't gonna work. Recheck it. There we go, we are now plumb. And we can pin the gas block in place. Now there's already a hole in the gas block, there's already a slot in the barrel. The slot is partially filled with solder, but because the solder is softer than the steel, I'm not worried about the drill bit walking, and so I'm not pre-drilling it on the mill as I did with a virgin barrel. So this is a 147. I'm gonna go halfway from both sides. And then I'm gonna move up to a 152. And since I want to end up at 156, I'm now going to use a 154 and run it relatively quickly. Now, I'll get a new pin. bit easier than I like. That's a used pin. So I'm going to take that out. That's... And you 
use, I originally didn't want to use this one because it looked like it was a teeny bit oversized. Move to a punch. Check the other side to see if it raised a burr. It did just a little bit, so I'm going to punch this through slightly and that'll break the burr off the other side. And then back into flush. There we go. Okay, so now that I've got the uh, gas block pinned, I'm just going to re-drill the handguard screw hole. On the closed ear gas blocks, it measures usually 0.209. So I'm going to start with a 204. We're going to go high speed, low feed. And then I'm going to finish with a 209. And that's it. We have mounted a gas block on an undersized journal. And now it's a tight fit.